Hello, some details about the batch that I'll be taking from 12th of April, especially related to the QA sessions. Four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Friday. Adequately spaced out such that if you, uh, you can practice what is learned or in case you miss a class, you can cover up in the in-between days. On each day, instead of taking two hours at a stretch, and most of my sessions get extended to two and a half hours. So instead of doing it at one go, I'll be splitting up into two sessions. 7.30 to 8.30, I will be covering the concepts and the standard questions, questions that don't have a twist and are only checking whether you have learned the concept well enough. At the end of the session at 8.30, I'll be highlighting the important questions in the exercise, which is there in your portal and will also be giving you some extra questions, uh, which are a little more twisted. Then we take a break from 8.30 to 9.30. At 9.30, we reconvene and now focus only on problem solving. That is doing, discussing those questions where the uh, way forward is not obvious, where you cannot just copy paste the concept learned, but you would have to think and forge your way forward, which way to go. And how do we think this is the focus of the second session. I see a lot of advantages in splitting this uh, into two different sessions. The students in a batch have very different needs. There are at one end, there are some who don't have time and have not watched any concept video in their self-study course, have come blank to the live session. At the other end of the spectrum, there are those second timers who have done the concepts multiple times and, and attending the live session only be, to get something extra, some wow solution kind of a thing to build problem solving. So with this uh, format, each student gets what he requires. The one who have come blank to the class without any preparation can learn the concepts without being, you know, brushed into problem solving. In fact, uh, at the end of the session, they can uh, practice the exercise in the portal and skip the problem solving. If they don't feel up to the level of learning problem solving, just focus on building a solid foundation. Once you feel you're, you can take up the challenge of twisted questions, then you can watch the recordings and learn those skills. The second set of students, those who have come only for problem solving or for some extra bit, can skip the 7.30 to 8.30 without the fear of missing out on anything because I'm not going to cover any extra bit in that 7.30 to 8.30, right? The second advantage, when questions are solved in a live setting, a question is put up and two minutes, three minutes, four minutes is given. Uh, some people, those who solve it very fast, will have to wait for the time to exhaust. Those who cannot solve it in the given time don't get an opportunity to solve the question on their own and are rushed into the solution. With this format, at 8.30, you get a set of questions and you can try that in the one hour in between at your own pace. You do it very fast enough, you have free time with you. Uh, you can't do it very fast enough, you have more than the two, three, four minutes allocated. You can take a little more time and cut, right? And lastly, not to take it uh, very lightly, uh, attending two and two hours, two and a half hours in an online class is tedious even for the most motivated student. Uh, splitting this up, First, reduces the span, the interval of time where you have to focus. For a lot of people, you might attend just one of them. So it provides you with more time for your self-study. And uh, it also provides that one hour respite in between, which breaks the fatigue of watching an online screen continuously, right? So the detailed AY schedule is in the link below, a very well thought out program. And I hope uh, you make you take full advantage of it. Thank you.